Good evening. It is 7.40 p.m. on Thursday the 3rd of June <gasps> and it is time for Today in My Brew Journal. So how are you? Are you good? I'm getting shouted instructions for upstairs telling me to remind you all to put your thumbs up. And mainly because I've just said to him, I'm doing a video, do not come downstairs. And he's like, Ugh. so he's yelling downstairs at me. <sighs> anyway, how are you? Are you good? I hope you're all okay. So we'll do a quick today with my boo journal, and then I'm going to go off and watch the X-Files. I've got a billion and one things that I want to watch. My to-do page there. All these things that I want to watch. I want to finish watching Gotham. I want to finish Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I want to watch season two of Manifest, uh, season whatever of Discovery. I want to, what, the last five seasons, I think, of Grey's Anatomy. Um, Titans, I'm pretty sure there's a second season of that that I haven't yet watched. Game of Thrones, I've not seen since about season five. So I started watching X-Files last night. Yeah, yeah. It's good. I like the X-Files. So, yeah. There we go. Okay, so what did we do? Uh, da, 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 da. I had chips, I crafted. Right. Righty, 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 right. I'm working really hard at the moment on um, the Apple Watch Fit, not Fitbit, you know, the, the fitness app on the Apple Watch. Um, this is it here, yeah. And if you fill each one up, it's called Closing Your Rings. The green one is your exercise minutes, and I'm supposed to do 30 exercise minutes um, each day, and I've really struggled to actually meet them. And I think I finally felt you've got to sort of really jog and really make your arms move to get it to actually fucking go. So, uh, so my, um, yeah, two days I've closed my rings, so I am um, trying to get a perfect month in because I've never closed all of my rings every day for a month and if I can I'll get, I'll get a badge um, see if I can see this is it so um, you've got your move your exercise and your standing which I always seem to earn steps even when I, I'm asleep um, it does show me steps as well uh, miles and floors climbed it, it's never the same as my Fitbit um, I'm doing a competition with Jo Lynn at the moment, so if anybody else has got an Apple Watch and they want to join in, please do let us know, because, you know, it would be more fun with more of us. Um, my challenge this month is to get 580 exercise minutes. This is another reason why I'm really working hard at it, and I, uh, for June, that is, and I've got 113 so far, so I'm really, really pleased. And I've got to get all three exercise rings close, because then I get maximum points, and if I don't get maximum points, Jo Lynn's going to kick my ass in this competition. We are even Stevens tool at the moment. So yeah, so my monthly challenge, there you go. Earn this award with a total of, oh, you can't see that, 580 exercise minutes this month. I've earned 113 so far. Try to earn at least 16 minutes a day for the rest of the month. But I want to earn 30 so that, that I then get um, this badge here, which is perfect month. Oh, that's just my move day, but I want to try and get like, all of them. I, I want this badge. And this is a perfect week, which is when you close all three activity rings throughout the week. So yeah, that's what I'm aiming for at the moment. Okay, so yesterday I got 13,768. Yeah, I mean, I'm still using my Fitbit because um, I do Fitbit bingo with Andy and the rest of my old Fitbit team and a few others. Um, I think April and Galena are both in on it. Um, I mean, we don't talk. We just we just do bingo, <laughs> you know. And it's motivating. It's the only reason I'm still using my Fitbit. 
but I will say um, my Fitbit and my watch don't agree at the end of the day what steps I've got. So my Fitbit lives in my bra. <laughs> Unless I'm stepping in the house, in which case I've got hold of it in my hand, but you know. Uh, right, we did that yesterday. That. Okay, so move to today's pen. Right. Show today. I've done AM teeth and day face cream. I apologise if you hear yelling. My neighbour is gaming. Um, I took my meds this morning. I'll take my antihistamines in a minute. I haven't done any work on my dread yet. Uh, did I post Instagram? I can never remember. I should add that to my done app, shouldn't I? When did I post that? No, that was yesterday. Okay, I am doing today in my brew journal. Now, I am filming like little snippets of blog, so I don't know whether to fill these blog ones in or not. Um, no booze. Um, I actually haven't had any chips either. So, yeah. Uh, Dara did his AM teeth this morning. We were out today. Um, he did tidy the lounge a little bit. So, yeah, that's very bright, that yellow. Um, today. Today was quite good. <clears throat> I was hoping to run into Daryl's friend at Fracture Clinic. One of his little friends, um, came out of school a week or so ago um, complaining that her arm hurt and I sort of said to her you know what have you done and she said I fell over harmony and um, you know I, I sort of didn't think much of it except that she was reluctant to sort of move her hand about and the next day her mum took her to fracture clinic and she's fractured her wrist and um, today she got herself a pretty pink cast and she went, in fact we were in at 10.15, she was in at 11 and we just missed her I think, which is a bit of a bummer, but there we go. Um, sleep. I used the Apple, um, uh, the Apple Health app for my sleep. I am thinking of getting auto sleep, so if anybody uses it I'd be interested to know what you think about it. Do you like it? Does it give you any more information than, you know, you're currently getting? What do you like about it? And if anybody in England has any ideas what I should do about shouty neighbour, I don't mind that he shouts. It's not that he shouts. It's the swearing. You know, I mean, I swear. You guys know about my fucking swear all the time. But not to that level. You know, he is screaming. He's raging. And I just, you know... If he didn't live alone, I would have called the police by now and reported a domestic. But to be honest, I don't really feel comfortable about approaching him. You know? I'm only sort of spoken to him briefly. I'm sort of like, oh hi, you know, you're my new neighbour when you moved in. <clears throat> I'm not really sure what to do about it. And I don't want to go, like, official routes, because, you know, I don't really want to alienate him, but... I'm starting to feel really uncomfortable. Uh, right. Ooh, there we go. So today I pulled the King of Wands. And the good thing about this is um, this kind of counters yesterday, or it, it leads on from yesterday's card. Yesterday's card was the Nine of Wands, and it was saying how you feel persecuted and um, that you may actually be putting yourself into situations that feed that feeling of persecution yeah this card is saying to you it doesn't matter what your disabilities are or your foibles or your 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 bad points i suppose if, if that because that's how you view them you shouldn't but that's how you view them you know um oh nobody will love me because i'm fat or i've got five children uh, well i know for a fact that's not true 
you know, um, because Stuart loved me, you know, and that's what you've got to say to yourself is it doesn't matter that I look like that. I have the strength to overcome that. Do you know what I mean? Um, you're still a beautiful person and your family and your friends, those of you that are proper family and proper friends will support you in that. And I think that's actually quite a relevant card considering that this is Pride Month. Now, um, Becca and, and Poppy, you know, especially, I'm quite an advocate for, for gay pride. Um, I've posted the memes that, you know, if you're not supported, um, there are free hugs always available here, you know, and I will mama bear you just as much as I do my own kids. If that's what you need and that's what you want, that's fine. Um, you might be really scared to come out. You need to look at why you're scared. Are you scared because you are physically frightened for your safety? Or are you scared that you are going to disappoint your family because you are not heterosexual? Yeah. I mean, in my view, the only difference between gay people and heterosexual people is progeny at the end of the day. And there are ways around that nowadays. You know, what's what's the difference between between a gay couple using a surrogate and a heterosexual couple using a surrogate? You know, what's, what's the difference between... Um, a same-sex female couple buying sperm than me going and buying sperm which you know I did consider but I, I can't afford it <laughs> so you know to me there is no difference and this this wasn't meant to be a, a, a gay pride sort of lecture it it could be anything you know I mean here on this card you see a blind person um, and this blind person well it looks like they're running a marathon doesn't it has overcome their blindness to run this marathon. You can overcome whatever it is, and if your family and your friends don't support you, then are they the family and friends that you really want to surround yourself with? Because if they're not, then there are better friends and there are better family out there for you. You can overcome. I promise you can overcome. everyone has doubts about themselves don't be afraid to be who you are I haven't done much today we've been out um, the third I nearly wrote in the ninth then that would have been very uh, uh, right um, let's say loot and laundry done um, dishes done and that's 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 pretty much it i haven't really done much else today like i say we were at fracture clinic this morning daryl's doing very very well he just needs to work on stretching the arm out and working the muscle because he's he's lost um he's lost 20 percent of the straightening ability and 30 percent of the touching his shoulder ability so he he's lost you know a good half of the arm movement which was quite shocking to be told that so he needs to work on stretching his arm out like that and then also stretching it back in like that so you know it's like you can see when he when he has his arms down by his side his left arm is perfectly straight but his right arm is a, a, a slight bend so we need to work on that and then we go back in two weeks and if we haven't managed it he'll have to go to physio to regain full use of his arm um doctor said there's no reason why he shouldn't because you know he's he's young and flexible and children recover a lot better than adults but it's really really hard because he cries because it hurts and i feel horrible so yeah I'm going to leave that there. I'm going to watch the Xbox and close my exercise ring because I haven't done it yet. I need to uh, get four more minutes, I believe. 
yeah, four more minutes to close my exercise room. If I keep if I if I keep if I keep getting perfect score for the next week, then Jolyn can't catch me and I will win. <laughs> Come get me, Jolyn. <laughs> right. Uh, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, Daryl Saunders. Any comments, questions, suggestions, or feedback, please do leave those down below. A warm kiss to Daryl. He really, really does love that. Uh, if you would like to subscribe to my channel, then click the watermark down in the corner and hit the bell that appears down below. And you know, if YouTube fancies it, you, you might actually even get notified when I upload new content. And he doesn't, but you know, it's worth a try. Um, have a fantastic rest of your day, no matter what it is that you're doing. I hope the weather is as nice for you as it has been here today. It's been lovely. And I will see you next time. Take it easy, guys. <laughs>